If you're wondering how to set up custom conversions or what are custom conversions, this is the video for you. By the end of this video, you will totally understand the concept of custom conversions on Google Ad Manager. How to set up them, what are they, when they are used, all of those things which we are going to learn in this particular video so i'll jump directly into the video so here i am on my whiteboard please forgive me for my bad drawing i just bought this pen tablet and i'm trying to learn it uh, but yeah let's just uh, focus on the concept and understand the concept properly now usually this is what you see is the funnel uh, first you know this is the facebook ad once a person clicks on the facebook ad they usually land on the landing page this is the landing page you know uh, they fill up the form and submit the form and this is where the lead is captured and lead is nothing but a standard conversion uh, on uh, a standard event on facebook ads so there are multiple standard events like add to cart payment registration all of these are standard events lead is also one of the standard event and uh, you know once you configure those uh, pixel and event lead is going to be fired you know on this landing page so i had the opportunity to work with some of the top universities in the world one of such university is from india which i worked for and they had very complex funnel not very complex but it used to involve at least three or four steps after somebody you know clicked on the ad so for example normally what is the case uh, when somebody clicks on the ad they land on the landing page they fill up the form all of these things and they submit and that's where the lead is captured but that's not the end of you know for them this is not what was the end it after somebody filled up this form submit uh, you know uh, clicked on the submit the page used to reload and they landed on to the application page now they have to fill up the application for that particular uh, you know degrees uh, or for that particular uh, whatever they are applying for whether it is MBA, BTEC, whatever degree they have to fill the application for all of those and application involved multiple different steps in between them for example uh, it used to involve uh, personal information setup then application what course they are applying for educational qualification all of those things and then after that it also used to reload all of these pages also used to reload and then finally the payment page used to come where they uh, charge a seat booking fee which used to be very minimal like 5000 6000 rupees or whatever they used to charge just to reserve the seat and uh, you know and people used to pay here in this funnel and that is like this is where the funnel ends now the client wanted to track all of these steps not just the lead but in between the all of these registrations also and finally the payment uh, page also so in this case we had to create multiple different uh, conversions uh, which would be like a registration complete education qualification complete and then you know in between personal information complete and then finally payment uh, is processed which means booking you know see it is book all of these conversions we had to set up on facebook so these are not available as a standard events on facebook we had to create custom conversion for that this is where the concept of custom conversions comes in where you have to come into custom conversions create all these uh, registration complete and you know payment complete or obviously payment is there uh, you know lead generated or something like uh, you know education qualification submitted all of these you know all of these landing pages when people used to hit we wanted to track that so this is uh, why we need custom conversions because they are not actually available as a standard conversion on Facebook you can create any type of con custom conversions i've just given you example of just one particular business it can be replicated into any other business also you can create cust custom conversions obviously the priority event will be the last you know uh, page here that was the case for this business the prioritized event is the last particular landing page if you know after ios 14 it is very very important that you give highest priority to your event when you're tracking multiple uh, events in a one particular funnel 
uh, because it it is it has become difficult after iOS 14 to track all of these conversions at a you know single stretch. It used to cost a lot to capture that last payment, but obviously if you know in India how much these degrees cost, it used to be you know nothing at all for these universities. So this was the case this is why you need custom conversions if you have any more questions just drop them in the comment section i'll uh, you know answer them as well now let's see how to set up custom conversions on facebook so for that i'll just come to face my facebook account and this is my ad manager account okay after that what i'll do is i'll just click on these all tools here and then I'll click on events manager in this case. So I'll click on events manager. I'll come onto this particular screen. Just find this particular link here. So this is my pixel. I'll just click on this pixel link here. And yeah, all of you will see all your, you know, standard conversions here. But if you want to create custom conversions, what you have to do is you just have to come to this section and click on custom conversions in this case. Okay, so we'll click on custom conversions. Then if you don't have any conversions set up, like for example, for me, I'll just click on create custom conversion. Okay, and then I'll, you know, give the name to the custom conversion. For example, for me, it is registration. Okay, so that is the name I'm giving, obviously data source pixel, and I'll go with the all traffic here. And then you can also choose the category, which means it is asking us if you if this conversion is something similar to what you already have in the standard conversion. So you can select that as well. For example, I'll probably just select here maybe registration if complete registration maybe this is what you can you know select. This is not necessary. Also, you can leave this step if you want. Then URL contains whatever the field you want your url contains for example if it is it says registration complete so you want to put that as you know for example let me just open my website let's say my contact page url contains contact so i'll just put that as url contains contact okay so if any page contains contact and if somebody you know uh, reaches that page it will track it as a registration complete conversion okay so this is just one example you can create multiple different types of conversion as i talked about you can create conversion for you know uh, education qualification field uh, personal in information field all of these things you can track and this is how you set up custom conversion if you have any more questions please drop them in the comment section below if you like this video please drop a like check the description for more such videos and also watch this particular video next it will definitely help you i'll meet you in the next video very soon thank you so much